On this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at the 2020 Specialized Cirrus 3.0. This is the road going version of the Specialized Cirrus lineup, a fitness hybrid that proves to be a pretty quick and pretty fun companion for either the commute to work or just getting out there to have some fun and get some fitness. But before we take a look at this bike's features and design, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you can see more videos like this into the future. So looking at this 2020 Specialized Cirrus 3.0, there's a couple of things that are fairly interesting about this. So the new frame, which is gonna be made out of their A1 premium aluminum, is gonna have a drop seat stay in the back, which allows the junction between the top tube and the seat tube to be split and divorced and what that allows for is a much more comfortable position. It's gonna have internally cable routed, cable routing on the bike. You're gonna have an inch and an eighth steer. And for the 3.0, this is actually gonna to go to a fact carbon fiber fork. So the carbon fork is a pretty big deal on a bike like this because it's gonna help smooth out some of the bumps and vibrations. But the other neat thing about a carbon fork like that on this bike is it's gonna really help save some weight. So Specialized claims that this bike, the 3.0, is gonna be actually almost three pounds lighter than the 2.0. Now, I'll be interested to see here at the end of the video whether or not that proves to be true or how light this bike actually will be, but just wheeling it out and playing with the bike, it's definitely a lighter weight hybrid. Now the other thing is the Cirrus lineup comes in both an X as well as a non-X version. And basically the difference between those two bikes is gonna be tire clearance on the bike, tire size, and then the drivetrain. So because this is a 3.0, this is the road going version. They make a 3.0 X, that's the more gravel version with wider tires and a one by drivetrain, but this bike, being the 3.0 road is going to be a 2x9 road bike drivetrain. And this is where it's going to be a really fun bike for doing, say, a road ride without having those drop handlebars. So this bike is running a Shimano Sora 9 speed rear derailleur with an 11 to 34 tooth rear cassette. It's going to run through this 9 speed X9 KMC chain and it's going to come up to this 2x front crank. This crank set is going to be a 48-32 tooth combo. And what's neat about that particular combo with the 1134 and then the 4832 is this is still going to be geared a little bit lower than what you would get in a traditional road bike, meaning this is going to climb hills quite a bit better, but it's also going to be a bit more stable at slower speeds. So if you're commuting with this bike or riding with the kids, you're not going to feel like you don't have a low enough gear to spin and be comfortable with them. Now speaking of commuting, this bike does accept fenders. It also accepts a rack. It's got these nice hidden fender mounts, rack bosses all over it. You're going to have a triplicate bottle cage on the down tube, so two positions for the bottle cage or a bag on the bike. And then you're going to have bottle cage mounts on the seat tube as well. As we move to the wheels, this is going to get a set of axis wheels. These are 700C wheels. They're double walled alloy rims with a 22 millimeter depth and a 21 millimeter internal width, which means it's gonna have nice support, these specialized road sport reflect tires in a 700 by 32. The reflect tire is a very nice and very durable tire setup. And to slow the bike down, we're gonna be running some Tektro HD R280 disc brakes. So these disc brakes are gonna run a 160 millimeter rotor up front and a 140 millimeter rotor out back. And then they're gonna be a hydraulic lever, which is gonna make for pretty nice and easy control to slow down the bike. Now shifting is being done by these MicroShift R9 shifters. They're a pretty neat setup because they're gonna be very similar to Shimano where it's gonna have a thumb and a trigger finger to make it actuate. But one of the things I really like about this cockpit is the shifters are run on some ball bearings, which is gonna make the shift quality 
actually pretty quite nice on this bike. Now it's going to have a straight alloy 31.8 handlebar and then it's going to have an aluminum stem which is going to allow you to perch yourself on this 27.2 aluminum seat post and a specialized bridge saddle. So now that we've taken a look at the features and designs of this bike, let's go ahead and find out what this specialized Cirrus 3.0 weighs. The actual weight of the 2020 Specialized Cirrus 3.0 comes in and weighs a pretty lightweight 23.7 pounds. Well, thanks for watching this video on the Specialized Cirrus 3.0. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And while you're at it, leave a thumbs up. It really lets me know that you enjoyed the video.